Hello. Today I'd like to talk about um, the concept of values. I was having a conversation with a colleague of mine the other day and we ended up chatting about values. And he asked me to write up a note for him uh, on one particular value of mine, respect, that I'll talk about in a moment. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to maybe elaborate on these. Values for me are how you interact with the world. So they're linked to your character, what you think is important, and yeah, and how people should expect to experience you. Likewise, the values of an organization are how people should expect to experience that organization when they interact with it. Um, we often say that the only thing that people actually experience are behaviors how we act, how we interact with them. They don't experience our intention. They experience the outcome, the results. And we say there are two experts uh, in the room, typically the expert of your intent and the expert of um, your impact. So values are how we interact with the world, uh, i.e. how the world experiences us, the impact that we have uh, when we interact with people. When I was um, raising my children, when my children were young, I often considered like how best to raise them and how could I communicate my values to them in a way that was meaningful, uh, that could be easily understood and applied in a wide range of circumstances. Now, clearly, I couldn't list a whole half a dozen values to my children. So I picked one word that I thought encompassed uh, many or most of my values. And the word was respect. The word respect, I've talked about this before, but the word respect comes from the Latin root um, re, which means back, and specio, which means to see. So to see back, to see anew, to see again. So when we think of seeing back, think of paying one's last respects to a deceased person. So what are we doing? We're looking back with recognition, with regard, uh, esteem, consideration, admiration and honour. All key words associated with respect and seeing anew, seeing again. When I was studying philosophy, my tutor used to uh, encourage me to try and meet people as though for the first time. Same with situations and things. Try to see them as though for the first time. Try and remove the prejudice, if you wish, um, that we carry with us from previous experiences uh, regarding that person or situation. And to try and focus on that moment, to see them again, to see them in new, anew. And so when something would happen with my children, uh, the dishes weren't washed or the room was a mess or whatever, they held us up all up because um, they weren't ready when we were going somewhere. I would ask them what happened to respect. I've explained the idea of seeing again, seeing anew and considering the situation and its impact on others. Today, I should add, they're all adults and, and we still use the word respect, but I'm afraid they tend to be applying it to me uh, for a change. Uh, interesting, Dan Sullivan, who I'm a great fan, the strategic coach, he talks about the four keys of referability. Show up on time, so respect, reliability. Do what you say, reliability. Finish what you start, self-discipline. And saying please and thank you, courtesy. And I think my definition of respect sort of covers all those four. So just give you practical examples of my values and, and so you understand how this uh, applies in the world. My first one is accountability. So taking full responsibility for whatever's happening and the outcomes of my choices, my decisions. Um, adding value, being a giver, not a taker. Balance, <laughs> maintaining my inner peace. Really, really important to me that I maintain my inner peace. Uh, freedom, maintaining my independence uh, while I do my best to serve the needs. So for example, not taking a client that's too big so they dominate my budget and then I lose my independence, my ability to give impartial advice and work with them effectively. A growth, becoming all I can be. In fact, my purpose comes out of this. Um, my purpose is to become all I can be and to help others become all they can be. Um, no guessing, confronting reality and dealing only the truth. Uh, passion, following it uh, full on so I can really commit, really engage, really commit to what I'm doing. Uh, pragmatism. Only doing what works and gives a fair return um, to everybody. Referability, so showing respect, reliability, tenacity and courtesy a la Dan, uh, Dan Sullivan. And simplicity, 
keeping everything as simple as possible. So this is, these are the values, these are sort of statements that uh, communicate um, how I want to interact with the world, what's important to me and what people should expect to experience when they work with me. So think about this concept of values um, uh, in terms of impact, how you want to interact and work with the world, what's important for you, how people should experience you. And I think they're important things for you to understand yourself and important things for you to communicate at a personal level or at an organizational level um, to the world. So there are my thoughts and values. I hope that you find it helpful.